Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project has revealed that 55 politicians and others stole more than a trillion naira between 2006 to 2013 in a new report. Serap also condemned some high-level corrupt office holders who are getting away with crimes and profiting from Nigeria's legacy of impunity. Human rights activist Femi Falano admonished the federal government to create an enabling environment of accountability and transparency for corruption to be tackled on. What we are contributing to the whole discourse is to continue to put it in the front burner of public discourse so that EUs and problems identified in the fight against corruption as, as, as identified by this writer, for instance. In order to fight corruption effectively, the federal government has to go beyond arresting suspects or prosecuting them. There has to be an enabling environment for promoting transparency and govern, I mean, uh, accountability in, go in government. The biggest institution in Nigeria today, in my opinion, that supports corruption are the banks. No political office holder, no civil servant, no public servant can actually dip his hand in the till without the force they still going through the banking system. More than 70% of the problems can be solved by lawyers and by only lawyers. By lawyers, I mean uh, lawyers who are engaged in investigation, lawyers who are in engaged in prosecution, lawyers who are engaged in defense, and lawyers who are engaged in adjudication. We have an anti-corruption sector working group. That working group has equal number of civil society organizations and government agencies, made up of all the anti-corruption agencies, the Federal Ministry of Justice, uh, law enforcement agencies, and all those who work in this sector. The idea is that we must keep on discussing some of the challenges that we have identified in this book today.